In this video, we're going to find a sequence of elementary matrices which can be used to write matrix A in row echelon form, where matrix A is a 3 by 4 matrix, that is 3 rows and 4 columns, where row 1 is 0, 1, 3, 5, row 2 is 1, negative 3, 0, 2, row 3 is 2, negative 6, 2, 0. We'll begin by swapping row 1 and row 2. We'll do this by finding an elementary matrix that results in the swapped rows when multiplied by matrix A. The elementary matrix 0, 1, 0 1, 0, 0, and 0, 0, 1 will work for us. So we multiply our matrix E by our matrix A And you can use either a graphing utility or multiply the matrices by hand. As I've covered both techniques in previous videos, I won't show you how to do that here, but each method is pretty straightforward. So multiplying our first elementary matrix with matrix A, our resulting product One, negative three, zero, two, zero, one, three, five, two, negative six, two, zero. So now we take our new matrix and find another row operation that can be applied using elementary matrices. Remember our goal is to get matrix A into row echelon form. Next, we want to find a matrix that will perform the row operation, row 3 plus negative 2, row 1, row 1, stored in row 3. An elementary matrix that will work So the elementary matrix that will help us accomplish this row operation is 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, negative 2, 0, 1. So we take the product of this matrix. and our modified matrix A and the resulting product 
is 1, negative 3, 0, 2, 0, 1, 3, 5, 0, 0, 2, negative 4. The next row operation to help us toward our goal of getting matrix A into row echelon form is to take one half of row three and store it in row three. In other words, multiply row three by a scalar of one half. The elementary matrix that will accomplish this is 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1 half. Here is our new matrix product. Note that our original matrix A has now been rewritten so that it's in row echelon form. So we'll call this our matrix B. And we can say that B is equal to the product of E3 times E2 times E1 times A. We are able to use a series of elementary matrices to obtain a matrix B by allowing those elementary matrices to correspond to particular row operations. So that's it for this example. Hopefully you found it helpful, and we'll see you next time.